The purl stitch is knit stitches opposite in almost every way, but if worked alone, purl stitch will look exactly the same as knit stitch. They both make garter stitch. It's when you combine knitting and purling that you really get to see the magic of knitting. To begin, make a slip knot and long tail cast on until you have 15 total stitches. If you need help with any of these techniques, just look for the links in the description box below. We're ready to make our purl stitch. Make sure you have the needle with all of the stitches on it in your left hand and pick up the empty needle in your right hand. For the purl stitch, we're always gonna think about keeping things in the front. So in this case, I have my yarn coming from the ball hanging to the front. Insert your right needle into the very first stitch from right to left. So it's gonna come from the right side to the left and cross in the front. Let's see that again. Coming from the right side, it's gonna go into the first stitch and cross to the front. Let's see what that looks like from the top. Come into that stitch and cross to the front. Now we're gonna need some help from our left hand in order to pick up the yarn in our right hand. So with your left hand, pinch to hold that crisscross in place. Then your right hand is free to grab your yarn from here in the front. Make sure you're not grabbing your yarn in the back like you would for the knit stitch, or we're going to get twisted around our needles. Okay, so it's time to wrap our needle to make the purl stitch. We're going to wrap between the needles around to the front. Show you that again, because my hand sort of gets in the way. Go between the needles, around to the front. Now that it's wrapped around, it's time to take that um, new stitch back through the other stitch. So to do that, we're actually going to push it through sort of to the back. So let's see that again, because this is the trickiest bit. So our stitch is wrapped around our needle here, and I'm going to slide and push through to the back. You can see my stitches here on the right hand needle. I'll show you one more time, um, sort of from the top here. Let me get those back in order. So I'm wrapped around and I'm going to slide down and push through to the back. Then I just need to slide this stitch off my needle and my first purl stitch is complete. All right, let's do those steps again. So coming from the right side, I'm going to go into the next stitch and cross to the front. Pinch and hold with my left hand. With my right hand, I'm holding onto my yarn. Wrap between the needles around to the front. Then I'm going to scooch down so that I can push that stitch through to the back and slide off. One more time. From the right side, I'm gonna go into that next stitch and cross to the front, pinch my needles. With my right hand, I'm gonna take that yarn in between the needles and around to the front. Then I'm gonna scooch down and scoop through to the back and slide off. Keep repeating the purl stitch all the way across till you get to the last stitch. The last stitch has worked just the same as all the others. Come from the right side and cross to the front. Wrap between the needles and to the front. Scooch and scoop to the back and slide off. In order to get going on the next row, all I need to do is switch these needles in my hand. So the one full of stitches goes to the left hand and the empty needle comes to the right hand. Now let's set that empty needle down and check out these stitches real quick. It's natural for them to twist, so I'm going to untwist them and spread them out a little bit. I want to make sure I still have 15 stitches. Five, 10, 15. If you're new to purling, I would definitely recommend counting your stitches every row until you can get the hang of it. Okay, now we're ready to start the second row. Put the needle full of stitches into your left hand. Make sure your yarn is coming to the front. Pick up your empty needle with your right hand and we'll begin just the same. With my empty right hand needle, I'm going to go into the first stitch and cross to the front. Make sure you pick up this yarn here 
from the front or it will cross over your needles. Wrap in between the needles and around to the front, scooch down and slide off to the back. Just keep working the purl stitch all the way across your second row. Now let's do the purl stitch with circular needles. It's worked just the same, but I'll give you a couple of tips to keep your yarn from tangling around the cord. To begin, make a slip knot and then pick up just one of those needles to do the long tail cast on. Long tail cast on until you get to 15 stitches. If you need help with any of those techniques, just look at the video in the description box below. All right, so to get started, I just need to put this needle that's full of stitches into my left hand, and then my other needle is going to come into my right hand. However, I have an issue with purling, with things getting tangled. I need this yarn coming from the ball to be in the front, and as you can see, it's getting trapped by my circular needles. All you need to do is move that needle underneath and then your yarn will be free to be in the front. So get yourself situated so that this yarn coming from the ball is in front of the needle and in front of the cord. Now we'll work the purl stitch the same as I showed for straight needles. Go ahead and with your empty right hand needle, go into that first stitch from right to left, crossing in the front. Pinch with your left hand. Your yarn should be free and not tangled between the cord. Go ahead and grab onto it and wrap in between the needles and to the front. Slide down and push through to the back and slide off. Keep working purl stitches all the way across. I've reached the end of my first row. Now all I need to do is change hands. So I'm just gonna flip these needles around. So the empty needles in my right and my needle with all the stitches on it is in the left hand. Now again, I'm going to have to do a little bit of rearranging. So I'm gonna just dive this right needle underneath that yarn so that now it is in the front and it is not tangled around my cord. So then I can just start the second row. Go ahead and make your purl stitches all the way across. Now you know how to do the purl stitch on both straight and circular needles. Here's a little sneak peek of what we get when we combine a knit row and a purl row. Here's the side that looks like purling. We'll purl when we see this side. These are all purl bumps. Here's the row that looks like knitting. This is the knit side or the knit Vs. We'll knit on this row. When you combine knitting and purling by knitting an entire row and purling an entire row, you get stockinette stitch. This is just one of the ways that we can combine knitting and purling. When you're ready to move on, let's try doing knitting and purling in the same row. Look for the video to combine knitting and purling in the description box below.